Intended use, oversurge. The one-step ovulation test in an immunochromatogric in vitro assay for the qualitative and semi-quantitative determination of the human luteinizing hormone, L, H in urine to predict the time of ovulation in women, the test detects the sharp increase in LH, concentration in urine. The so-called LH surge, which precedes ovulation, conception is most likely to occur within 36 hours following the LH surge. Limitations The one-step ovulation test is for in vitro diagnostic use only. Elevated concentrations of human chorionic gonotropin HCG interfere with LH testing. Do not test samples from pregnant women and people with pathologic conditions causing higher HCG. Levels. The one-step ovulation test is not designed to prevent conception. As sperm can survive for 72 hours, you might still become pregnant if you had intercourse. Before you detected your LH surge, when to begin testing? First, you must determine the length of your menstrual cycle. This is the number of days from the first day of your menstrual bleeding to the day before your next bleeding begins again. Count the first day of bleeding as day. Calculate what the usual length of your menstrual cycle has been over the last few months. Once you have worked out the length of your cycle, refer to the chart to determine on which day of your menstrual cycle you should begin testing. Contents. Each pouch contains one immunochromatogric test. Each test contains a membrane with anti-LH antibodies and conjugates in a stabilizing matrix containing proteins and sodium azide. Interpretation of results. After each test, you must decide if you are having a LH surge dot to determine your result. You must compare the color intensity of the test band to the control band. The control band is used to compare the test band against and also confirms that you have completed the test correctly. Positive for LH surge. If the color bands are visible and the test band is of almost equal or greater color intensity, darker than the control band, this is a positive result and a good indication that the LH is occurring. You should ovulate. Within the next 24 to 36 hours, sexual intercourse is advised at any time. After the first positive test, negative for LH surge, if two bands are visible, but the test band is of a less intense color paler than the control band, or cannot be seen. This means the LH level is at or near its normal level and that the surge is not in progress. You should continue with daily testing. Invalid result if no control band appears within five minutes. The result is invalid and should be ignored. A visible control line is needed in all cases to confirm a proper test result. Repeat test with a new test kit. If you do get unexpected results, you should discuss them with your doctor. Specimen collection. Once you have identified what day you should begin testing, you should then begin to collect your urine on a daily basis. Do not use first morning urine samples. As LH is synthesized in your body early in the morning, it will not show up in your urine until later in the day. The best time to collect your urine is between 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Pick a regular time that suits you best. Collect urine at about the same time each day. Reduce liquid intake about two hours. Before collecting your urine as a diluted urine sample can prevent the test from detecting LH surge. I hope you like this video and please share it. And subscribe my YouTube channel.